How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. Hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. Let's go ahead and take a look at the battle pass real quick. I am uh, one, two, three, four, five, six levels away from getting this Mecha Knight Magar skin. I'm really looking forward to that. But today we're going to dedicate this video to legends with nine or more strength. Basically nine or ten strength, which is practically going off the charts we're gonna go for the strongest legends possible why because as you can guess i'm trying to unlock tier three of the fallen prince tarot skin and i need to win matches with nine or more strength i'm at 27 out of 50 matches one so we're probably not going to get 23 wins in this episode but uh, we'll see how many we could get. Actually, I'm already diamond, so I don't really play ranked once I'm diamond. Let's go ahead and make a strikeout team of nine strength or more. So all the legends that have the capability of having nine strength or more are Scarlet, Taros, Zul, Petra, and Amugi. Some of those you have to have the strength stance. Uh, so let's go ahead and do write down the list. And I'll mix up the team every time. I'll mix up the skins every time. I have a ton of different skins I like to use. Let's go Taros, Patrick Star, why not? And then, uh, should we do Zol? Yes. So, I don't know if you guys caught that, but 9 strength, 9 strength, 10 strength. Now, to be fair, you don't have to have all three legends with 9 strength or higher if you're doing strikeout. Uh, I discovered in one of my previous videos that you only have to have one legend uh, in the three with nine or more strength. You don't even have to play that legend. Like, I could have ten strength Zul as my third legend, but I win with a three stock on my first legend who is, like, only two strength or something. I'll still get credit for the ten or the nine strength win. But I just want to do all strong characters just because it's fun. Come get me. I don't mind playing uh, fighting Scythe off stage with the hammer because hammer is just so good off stage. Oh, buddy. He was going pretty hard on me at first, but our patience paid off. Little unarmed action never hurt anyone. And when you got this much strength, it's like, why not? Hey, Bryn, you want some smoke? Just kidding. It's steam. Oh, I wanted to hit that. She likes the smoke. I think she wants some more. Oh no! She killed Scarlet! How could you? Okay, well, we have Patrick Star here. We're gonna finish up this fight with Patrick, I got a feeling. Brynn is a little too crazy here. She's not even going for that weapon. Maybe she thinks she don't need it. I think she does. Boom! <laughs> she forgot about that ground pound? Can't forget about that one. We're gonna forget. We're gonna finish this with Patrick. But if we don't, we got ten strength Zul waiting for us. Oh no! I didn't wall touch. Okay, well, technically we killed ourselves. That's okay. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, Sidra. All right. How about a good old side sig to finish the job? Oh, or a ground pound. That works, too. GG, bro. Do you want a rematch, Cruz? I need 23 more of those. Oh, okay. I guess not. There we go. 28 out of 50 wins with 9 strength or more. All right, since we didn't get to play Zul, let's go ahead and start it out with Zul this time. I kind of want to change the axe, though. 
Uh, let's do... I've been using that axe for a long time. Like, well, I mean, last week or so. Uh, let's use the Spite Bringer. I like that one. And then let's go ahead and do Petra. And I do have a lot of Petra skins. Let's go Dark Heart Petra with the Winter's Grasp and the Power of Will Orb. And then for our Anchor... Our third and final legend. We're going to go Imugi. And Imugi is crazy because of his stats. Like 8 strength and 8 defense. But if we go strength stance, we got 9 strength. Did we go 9 strength on Petra? Yes, we did. And 10 on Zul. Just got to make sure there. Nine, 10 Zul, 9 Petra. And last but not least, Imugi with 9 strength. All right, our next match is against Gahino, 007, Zariel, Caspian, and Orion. Oof, Orion is like my nemesis. You guys know this. Orion always beats me. All right, let's see how it go. Satsig, you're not going to win when I got 10 strength Zol here. I only got to hit him like twice. All right, maybe that was more than two times, but you guys get what I mean. I love the fuel rod cannon. Oh, he picked up that bomb like like James Bond would. Man, he really likes that side light. Bro, do you know any more moves other than side light? All right, he, he might be a new player or something. We like new players. Bye bye. Ultimately, it don't really matter. All I need is that win because we're gonna get those nine strength wins, baby. Let me know where you guys are on the uh, level three Fallen Prince Taros mission. That was fast. All right, Gaheen, well played, dude. Good luck on your uh, missions there. 29 out of 50, let's go. All right, let's go to uh, Petra. Imugi, and then bringing it back up to Scarlet. Actually, I did say I would use a different skin every time, so let's do Airship Scarlet, Random Hammer, and Random, actually no, let's do Perceptive Flight. I like that Lance. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please go ahead and drop a like. It really helps out the channel. And be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. I'm always putting it out there for you. While we wait, we might as well do the comment of the day. This one is from Scoots7871, who said, Terraria has stolen my life this year, so I was really loving the this maps. Yeah. Uh, I definitely go through phases where I have to play Terraria again, like do a playthrough probably at least once a year. I love doing a Terraria playthrough. It's just such a fun game to come back to every now and then. But yeah, uh, if you didn't see my last video, I did download some Terraria map mods. Uh, they are in the game still, so if we get the map, uh, it's not for every map in the game as you can see. But about half of them, I think, are like Terraria maps now. Hopefully we'll get one, you guys can see. Alright, we're going against... Molly the third. I don't recognize the name. Should we switch to gauntlets? Why not? I have a feeling they're unfamiliar uh, fighting against Petra because... I don't know. It's just a hunch. Oh, a Moogie. Spot dodge. Okay. You don't even have to be like a pro player to destroy with greatsword. It, it is really good. Look at that. You get the first hit and somebody's in red. It's like a free killing blow. Oh, the spot dodge. A moogie versus a moogie, baby. Here, here it goes. Oof, how is he still alive? Don't come back. 
Don't do it. Oh, okay. Let's uh let's go to great sword on this. If he keeps jumping above me, you know what I'm gonna do? That neutral sig, man. I am still a tad bit sleepy, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably reflecting I got it with that double. He keeps jumping above me, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. And honestly, it will work. Good game, dude. You gotta be a little, so predictable, though. It's just floating over me over and over and over. Oh, the rematch. Okay. Molly has a little bit of fight left. Wants another match. Uh, let's go ahead and, like, I don't know. Let's do uh, Roman Reigns, Taros with Ken from Street Fighter with... Arctic Trapper Zul with Esports V3. Random, random. Okay, whatever. Let's give Molly one more fight. Unless Molly can pull off the upset and force a game three. Molly kept it Moogie, but switched up the other character. All right, let's see how we go. Game two. Will Molly force a game three or will it be a repeat domination? from game one. Not gonna lie, Taros is a really good legend. I feel like I could main Taros. Just because Hammer is so good. And so is the axe. And if I was gonna main Taros, I think I would main Roman Reigns. Cause his sigs look so cool. But I could never main Taros because Taros mains are bullies. I'm just joking. Sometimes to win a game, you gotta be a bully. Oh, that's death. This is going to be a three stock with Taros right here. Molly wanted that rematch. She didn't know she was getting that three stock. Boom. Good game. You dead. There it is. Where are we at on uh, nine strength or more wins? GG, GG. Why is it not doing GG? There we go. Ryu, nine strength, right? Oh no, I didn't do the strength stance. There we go, nine strength Ryu, followed by the Imugi. Random axe and random great sword. I don't like that one. Okay, why not? And last but not least, we're gonna finish it up with nine strength. Scarlet, I doubt we're even gonna get to Scarlet, but here we go. Oh, here's one of the Terraria maps, guys. Too bad we're not playing on it, but... Oh, that is so cool, isn't it? All right, we're going against another Taros. This one is the Synthesium Project. What a cool name. Taros, Cassidy, and Yumiko. Three Hammer Legends. Let's see how we do. Team Nine Strike. Countered that so beautifully. Oh! He wanted to do that down sig and I just ground pound right, that poof of smoke right on his head. Hold that. No? Okay. This is going to be a three sock too. I'm feeling it. I'm 
pretty good with Ryu. Uh, yep, there's the disconnect. I've gotten diamond with Ryu more than once or with Petra. Petra is so good. Petra is easily in the top 10 best legends in my opinion. Total domination. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We got 32 out of 50. I'm going to try to get the other, what, 18 off camera. And uh, maybe next episode we'll have Tier 3 Fallen Prince Tarot. So let's just go look at it real quick. This is what I'm working towards. We got the Tier 1, Tier 2, and that's the Tier 3. That's what I'm working for. So... Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Lucian Sword. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Take it easy, friends.